going on, guys? Johnny Alonzo. I'm here in Austin, Texas uh, for the 2023 South by Southwest Film uh, and Music Conference. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, we just flew in last night. Totally stoked. Here for click on this. My special guest this morning is fellow filmmaker Zora Kovac. Um, I saw her film Sprout, which all of you should be watching because it's fantastic. I'm just going to pass it this way. See me, follow me. Zora, how are you? Good, good. How are you? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Yeah, thank you for being on the show. Oh, of course. It's an honor. Thank you. No, listen, um, we're going to cut to the chase. Sprout. I loved it. It's a seven-minute film, I believe. Mm -hmm. It's better if you just talk about it. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little over seven minutes long. It's an, a 2D animated short sure. that it's about an agoraphobic scientist who uses all these machines to refuse to interact with the outside world. It gets his mail, everything. He's like, I will not speak to another person. Uh, you cannot make me. And then he inadvertently creates this plant robot kind of creature. And um, it becomes his only friend, kind of opens him up. Yeah. But um, when it wants to explore the outside world, he is not OK with it yeah. and then has to basically learn to um, embrace the things that have terrified him yeah. his whole life. Yeah. What, what I loved about it, there was a lot of symbolism that was going on in the project. Um, I love, I love that when the Girl Scouts showed up and he like, like threw that like gas spray out there and like turned them out. But um, the, the whole thing, what I loved the most was the sense of being alone. And then he found friendship in that sprout baby or whatever robot. Um, dig, in, dig into that a little bit more because that's for me at least the heart of the story. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's that um, feeling of when you start to self-isolate and then you kind of yeah. go deeper and deeper into it and it can be so hard to pull yourself out of it because there's a comfortability in that, but there's also this extreme loneliness. Yeah. And you know that you would be getting more out of life if you would just go out, put yourself out there, not be afraid and experience the world, but it's so, you feel so safe and comfortable like in that space. And so... Um, it was the idea of like what can pull you out of that, and I think that is connection and, and love and companionship and friendship. And what I love about you saying that, that, that throws me right in, kind of like what happened with COVID. Absolutely, I do. I, I made I started making the film in November of 2021, so I do oh. think it was a, like oh. a big reflection of those yeah. feelings from COVID. Of I am in my home and I feel like I have all the things I need and I want next to me, but I'm missing so much and I'm so so isolated and so lonely yeah. honestly yeah it's amazing mm -hmm. I went to NYU so um, I, I got to watch a lot of microfilms and um, this just reminded me of my old college days how long have you been doing animation I started doing it in school I was a film and animation double major and um, so I learned in school but then um, I was also making comics and um, when I got out of school I didn't have the resources to make live action films. <laughs> <Of course not. laughs> um, I was like, oh, I suddenly have no access to gear. Um, and so I started making animated films um, kind of just because I, could, I knew I could do it all on my own. It was like, I can hire myself. Like, I'm free. <laughs> um, yeah, I can work Sunday. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, I can exploit my own labor. It's totally fine. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how I started once I got out of school. I graduated in 2014. So it's been um, almost a decade now wow. that I've been wow. really making animated films. Yeah, It's, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and this was, um, so you said 2021. What was this, um, I mean, did you have any partners that worked with you on this? I mean, I know you had um, uh, like a music supervisor or something. I saw some, some name. Yeah, a composer. My friend um, W. Bear, who has done music for, I think this is our fourth film that we've worked on together. Yes. And so, yeah, we met just, we met as people do these days on the internet, yeah. like on Instagram, like he reached out and was like, I love your work and I'm a musician. And if you ever want to collaborate on something, let me know. And then it kind of just generated all these amazing projects, but I love it. he's so brilliant. I love the music in the film. Oh, it's phenomenal. Yeah. You know, I'm a musician. So I mean, I really felt in it. Let me ask you the one scene when Sprout put his legs or dip his legs in the water, mm -hmm. it was like, bringing life into him and bringing life into the scientist, right? Is it, was that kind of the idea? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think something about that kind of just, like, gentle action of just, like, bec becoming a part, not, I don't know how to say becoming a part of nature, but, be, you know, becoming in tune with nature yeah. and yeah, just, yeah. like, taking a very gentle, quiet moment to embrace nature and, yeah. like, live in that moment and how that, I think, was the moment that the 
the character. I think Ramp is the name I have, which is... I was going to ask you what the name is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so a ramp is like a spring onion, so it's cool. named after... <laughs> I love Awesome. <laughs> They're very tasty, <laughs> spring onions. Um, awesome. And so I think that moment when he's kind of in this one, one moment with nature is when he realizes, like, I can let go of... Um, this person can let go and we're kind of able to move on to the next phase of what our lives sure. are. Yeah. And I should have said this earlier, when the scientist was taken into Sprout's stomach or whatever, it was like being back in the womb. That's exactly see, what I've been saying. See, see, yes. I, mean, I caught it, I caught yes. it. Come on, man. It was really something else because it was almost like rebirth. Yeah, absolutely, and the, and the kind of switching of roles. Like, he was a parent figure to right. this character, and then now it's his turn to learn and, yeah. and become the child again, and he has to grow in himself. So my question, the granny on the bus... Mm-hmm. Can you explain that to me? Was, was she like a shamanist? What was she? <laughs> that could have figured it out. <laughs> to me, I, I think it was kind of just the idea of this was a person who could never interact with another person. And now he sees this oh. person come on the bus. Oh. And it's like there are all these open seats on the bus. And it's like, you could sit anywhere. You don't have to sit next to me. But he allows this person to sit next to him anyways. And is it comfortable just like being in this like moment of almost intimacy but just closeness sure. with a stranger which was something that he was totally beyond him you know, that that makes total sense now to me i mean i love that i mean it, but it, that ties it up in a bow um and even the scientist smiled if i remember yeah he has a little smile yeah. that i think it's and he's looking out the window so i, I kind of think of it as just for himself like it's a moment where he's like i've i've kind of reached that moment i know finally really? It's, it's an amazing piece, really. What are your plans for it, by the way? Yeah, so I have a few other festivals coming up. Some I can't quite announce, but my next is um, I will be at the Athens Interna- Film and nice. uh, International yeah. Film and Video Festival yeah. in um, April, okay. um, screening on April 15th there. Oh, um, and then I will be screening, I don't know if I can announce it yet, but um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's not well, public. You have right? several screenings, several ladies screenings and gentlemen. Yeah, watch yeah, this. Yeah. If we wanted to find any of your information, I mean, do you have any social media? I would say the best place if you want to see my films is my Vimeo, um, okay. vimeo.com slash Zora Kovac. And I'm not on Instagram right now, but I am on Twitter. I know. Uh, okay, wait a minute, <laughs> really? Break? I'll, yes. s- I'll sign you up now. Come on, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it for you. I know. I need to just go in and make it. I'll, I'll make it and then fine, you can all look for me in a month um twitter but i'm on twitter yeah at zora underscore kovac Very so you can cool. find me there as well Very, yeah before we wrap up i just i need to ask a couple more questions um about sprout so you told me the name the idea the concept was this is not your first mini film obviously you, you have several is this one of your favorites i do think it is yeah, it has to be yeah. yeah i think it's it's the most gentle thing I've ever made (laughs) and I I I think there's something very sweet about it and I've had some friends tell me like this is my favorite thing that you've made and and I do I think that I have a very special connection to the film especially I think coming out of the pandemic and it being something that was coming from a place that was um so strong emotionally but so difficult to communicate but also so universal at the same time I, I um Something very special well, about I'm, it. I'm very glad that you said that because really, when I when I was watching it, I really, I was drawn into it, and I was like, oh my god, there's like a parallel universe thing that's going on here with the idea of COVID. And um, no, you're you're a very talented writer. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're That's quite so welcome. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm like, you're a talented writer. And I say, I'm waiting for you to say thank you. <laughs> but in all cases, no, really, it was a pleasure talking to you. Oh, same, absolutely. Thank you. And congratulations again for being here at 2023 South by Southwest. And uh, we look forward to seeing you when we get back uh, out of town. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure talking to you My as well. My pleasure. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. <laughs>